mentioned that you guys have kind of started feeding some of that cubes back at the ranch and we started those calves after burning on that new calf starter. What are you seeing, if anything? Well, those calves, the thing about it, you can feed them what you want and then they eat. And then when they, they get full, they quit. And it don't it probably don't take as much feed as corn or something like that as you have to give them. And, uh, but it's, but it, they've held together really good. And uh, we usually, when we come up here, and uh, we'll lose several calves and stuff, but we've been pretty fortunate, knock on wood, we hadn't had that same death loss that we've been having. And then also on our horses and everything, uh, back at the ranch and everything, we've just got the uh, mares, uh, we, we feed them three, three pounds a day, and uh, we usually you know, have to feed them a lot more than that, but so far, so good. Well, Benny, you know, just kind of wrapping up, I know you've just kind of getting your feet wet with this feed and kind of, you know, trying to figure out, you know, how it works and because it's a big transition, you know, it's, it's quite a paradigm to figure out you can do so much more with less. Um, well, that's the way I am when I go down there and feed them. I said, hell, you ain't feed them enough, you know, and I think I said, because we've always fed, that's one thing my granddad and my dad and all of them have always taught, you got to feed them about all they want to eat, you can't feed them where they get but you gotta, and you know, where they've been used to feeding 10 or 12 pounds, where you're feeding them two to three pounds. So I mean, and, and it took me a while to get used to it, Dusty. I'm not, I'm not knocking it or anything else. It's just the difference. And anyway, and, and uh, the horses and stuff look as good as they ever have.